All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your OnePlus 7 Pro to Android 10. Uh, forgive me for the bad video quality and stuff. I'm using an iPod. Yes, an iPod to film it. So, um, for the longest time, I kept waiting for my OnePlus 7 Pro. It's now it's November of 2019. I was November 14th. I was waiting for it to update, and so um, always before I get over the air updates, go to settings and then system updates and then you know I would do this and it would say your system is up to date only it said uh, oxygen OS 9 dot whatever at the time and I was like what the freak so uh, you know poking around in here I found out if you click on that little settings thing up there it's a thing here that says local upgrade I'm like huh so I clicked it and at the time this this was completely empty so I started doing some research into it to see if I was able to update this manually and uh, you are. You're able to go to, um, of course, I don't have it pulled up right now. But you go to OnePlus, the OnePlus website, and you search around on there, and they, they have the stable release of um, Android 10 for the OnePlus 7 Pro. So I downloaded it. And then it was in my, uh, it was in my downloads folder, and which would be here. It was up here in my downloads folder. And I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe that's what I need to do, the local upgrade. I went back to settings and system update, hit the button, local update, and that, that area was still blank. And what I found out you had to do is, see up here where it says internal storage up there? What I had to do was uh, click the, um, you know, like select the, and I'll show you the file in a second, the Android 10 file, and then I cut it and then where it says cut to and in internal storage then you just paste it right here in the root of your internal storage this is it right here one plus seven pro oxygen 10 blah 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 zip okay when you hit when you get it pasted there in internal storage then when you go back to settings and then system and then system updates and then it lies to you and says there's no update you come up here and you click that and you go to local upgrade then you can click that and it says basically you start your update. So that's how you do it if you are frustrated with waiting for your carrier or whatever like I was. Uh, you can do it manually. And I would just tell you that before you do that, um, it's the latest and greatest I guess, but Android 9 was better on here. The batteries certainly lasted longer. And uh, there's some quirks with my notifications uh, when I do it, like when I have emails here, and you pull them down, you can do quick reply or delete or whatever. When I hit the delete, a lot of times they don't go away. I, that's just an example. There's other things too. But I honestly can't even really tell any difference in the OSs at all, except for my battery doesn't last as long. Uh, there are probably things, but anyway. So that's how you do it. Good luck.